In this video, we're gonna go over a frequently asked question, and that question is, what do you carry in your backpack when you are walking a long distance on the beach to surf fish? Mainly, the reasons you really have to think about it is if you're gonna cover miles of water on the surf, you're gonna wanna be lightweight, and you also want to pack thinking about how you're gonna keep your fish fresh. And in this video, I'm gonna go over all those things, just keeping lightweight and keeping my catch fresh. So we're gonna fish a bit, and then at the end of this video, I'm gonna break down everything that's inside this bag that helps me not have to carry a lot of weight and allows me to keep my fish fresh. But in full disclosure, guys, the beach that we we're gonna go to, cause Bob's out there, but the beach we were gonna go to that we we're gonna walk <laughs> on was actually closed today until noon due to maintenance. So we're actually at that beach that we could drive on. We're at Oceano. Got people out here. Here's my truck. <laughs> but anyway, let's fish. And then again, I'll just go over what's in that backpack and everything that I used to be mobile and keep my fish fresh. We'll catch you guys at the end, but let's fish first. All right, let's start off with the Carolina rig. Conditions today, it is currently 823 and peak low tide today was seven So We're gonna be fishing all incoming tide, peak high tides like at two. Not a huge swing in terms of the tide today, but we are facing a little dirty water. It almost seems like it's heading towards red tide today. So we'll see how we do. Bob's throwing the Kalisa. I'm gonna again start with the Carolina rig. I will put a link up here if you guys wanna see how I tie my Carolina rig. You guys can check that video out after you uh, check out this video. Let's see if anyone's home. Got one, finally. <laughs> Took a little while, but got one. And I'll go ahead and I'll share the process too. You guys have seen it in other videos. One way to keep fish fresh is to bleed them out. But actually, based on this one's size, it's not even worth keeping. But along those lines, if you leave blood in your fish, it has stress hormones and as soon as your fish dies it's gonna decompose that fish a lot faster if you leave the blood in it so if you could pop the gills and hold the fish nearby that'll keep your fish a lot more fresh but again we'll let this guy go there you go stay on see this rod doesn't quite have a soft enough tip and backbone to keep these fish pinned. I just lost a big one right now, but here's a decent one. Definitely a, a better size, more of a keeper. So as I was mentioning earlier, blood breaks down the fish's meat fast. So what I do here, when I get one, I'm going to do it off screen, but I'm going to pop the gills, just stick my finger in its gill and I'm gonna pop it and that's gonna cause the fish to bleed out and what I carry on me is a sport bag a mesh sport bag I have it attached to my belt right here and what that's going to do is I'm gonna put the fish in there and it's gonna continue to be able to bleed out right into the water and it keeps it clean and then once it's all bled out and died i'll show you what i'll put it in in my backpack later on at the end of the video i'll show you how my backpack is set up just to keep all of my fish separate and then i got another tip for you guys that is very very helpful that'll keep your fish really fresh without adding extra weight there is one 
Good fish. I don't know how good. It's coming in too easy. We'll see. Yeah, small. <laughs> but he wanted that crappie slider. And as usual, guys, everything that uh, I'm mentioning in this video, I'll leave links below on where you can find them. And getting a bunch of small ones on the grub. A lot of them aren't sticking. I might switch to the Kalisa soon. A couple more fish, but at least I know they're here. Actually, I'm getting tangled up, so. All right. I know they're here, so I'm gonna throw the Kalisa for a bit. There's a fish on the Kalisa. Good one. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, yeah. Not going anywhere. As mentioned, just pop the gills. Put them in that mesh bag. Catch some more. There's one. There's one. Woo! Knock some slack into the line. Nice! Hit so close. He wanted that bait. Woohoo! Yoohoo! Yeah! Another keeper. They're eating it good. It was a grind for a little bit, but now we found a pocket. And there's some nice quality perch in here. Those 4X strong DMC treble hooks doing the job i mean <laughs> this one basically got it so far in his mouth it's gonna shut his mouth closed around it nice perch another one it was a little disappointing when we got here this morning and uh i didn't think we were gonna get on any and uh we uh relocated uh the tide started coming in and they started chewing pretty good yeah overall it was good man i caught a lot of fish it was it was fun there's the bounty right there I think that's like thir 12, 13, 13 perch in there. And now it's time to answer that frequently asked question of what do you keep in your surf backpack to stay lightweight as well as be able to keep your fish fresh if you're deciding to keep them. With that question, I think it's important to start with the backpack itself. This one happens to be a 45 liter military style backpack, which just means that it has straps and Velcro that you can accessorize with. I've had this one now for over four years and the zippers still work really well and I haven't really had any issues with this backpack. Keeping in mind, it does need to be comfortable. It does have chest straps and it does have a waist strap as well to really evenly distribute that load on your back, especially if you're gonna have it on for an extended period of time. And I did leave a link below if you guys like this backpack, if it'll suit your purposes as well. I did get on Amazon and if you order through that link, it does help the channel. So thank you guys very much. And going back to the backpack, it does have four compartments. It does have a main compartment, a secondary compartment, and then it has two of these more smaller accessory compartments. Let's start with the first one, which is the top here. It's the main easy to access compartment. You just put it down and you can open this up. And these are gonna be items that I pull out the most. So first will be my archery glove slash rod glove. This one really helps to keep the braided line from cutting my finger. It has these nice finger pads that really allow me to put pressure on that line to get the bait far out there. So I will leave a link to that as well. You do have, of course, leader line. I carry this easy access in case I need to swap out. Got some forceps, pretty simple. Be able to take those fish off the hook. Next, got some line cutters. I'll also keep my soft plastics in that top compartment. And I do also carry my measuring device 
to be able to measure those striped bass or halibut. And then I will throw in just a few of the tactical angler clips in case I switch from the Carolina rig back to the lure. So I'll have a couple of these in there as well. So that is the top compartment. Next, we're gonna go ahead and look at the secondary compartment. The secondary compartment is where I keep all of my lures. And I don't need a tackle box for my lures because I have the Cali covers. And you'll see here when I open it up, that's all that's in there. It's just lures in Cali covers. So I can easily go in, pick which ones I wanna use for that trip, put them in my pocket, and the Cali covers allow me to alternate between lures while I'm still on the spot fishing. Speaking of Cali covers, they are trying to get into your local mom and pop style tackle stores. So if you guys don't have them in your tackle store, send me an email and we can get that started for you. Just email me at edward at hooktocook.net and we'll get you in touch with the owners of Cali covers. Let's jump right into that next compartment. This is where my tackle box goes. And just speaking of the tackle box, you do want a tackle box that has a seal on it so it stays waterproof. Just in case you put it on the sand and a wave comes, it's not going to fill up with water and start rusting out your hooks prematurely. So I really like this particular box. It's not too big. It's just right for all the things that I need for my Carolina rig, sinkers, hooks, swivels, beads, all of that go in there. It's in that second compartment because you don't really need to access it all the time. You can use the same Carolina rig pretty much the whole trip unless you get broken off. But at that point you can open that. But here's the game changer guys. Here's how I keep my fish fresh. You saw in that video, I do have a mesh bag that I carry on my hip that I use to bleed out fish. Same concept, it allows me to take the fish off the hook and not have to go on shore, put my fish away, I get to stay on the hole, because sometimes if you have to spend time putting your fish away, when you come back, you don't really know where you were catching them. You have to keep on trying to find out every time you catch a fish. But with something like this, it really helps so that you can stay on the spot and still keep your fish nice and fresh. And then next, at the bottom of the biggest compartment, I carry a plastic bag. Basically, the whole reason for this is it just keeps the inside of the bag from getting all slimed up and it makes it a lot easier to clean. And then when I get home, just open up the bag, toss it, good to go. But here's the part that I feel like is a real game changer and I hope it helps you guys out because a lot of times people are like, man, how do you keep your fish fresh? Do you carry like a big ice like block or do you carry uh, one of those like things that you put in a cooler to where it keeps it cold? No, you don't do that. You want to have a purpose for everything that you bring. So I put frozen water bottles and the nice thing is as they melt, of course, you can drink, stay hydrated, ice cold, but at the same time, it keeps your fish cold too. But what's nice about this particular backpack is it does have two mesh zipper compartments here where I can take both the water bottles, put them at the bottom if I only got a few like surf perch, or if I catch a 22 or 24 inch halibut and I need to put it in there, it's a taller fish so I could put one up here and one down there and it'll keep you know the body nice and cold or as cold as possible. You can carry three water bottles, four water bottles, just enough to where it doesn't become too heavy for you but that was the game changer that I was really excited about. But hopefully this video answers the question, what do you carry on the surf when you're wanting to stay lightweight, but still at the same time, wanna keep your fish fresh. Hopefully you found some solutions in this video. If you wanna check out other videos uh, where we analyze the surf or make a Carolina rig, I'll leave those videos right over here so you guys can check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I appreciate you guys. We'll catch you on the next video.